Today we're going to talk about cervical disc replacement and the new generation of discs that are coming out because they're improving and they're becoming better designed. For example, we already know artificial disc replacement in the cervical spine is superior to every other fusion device that's done. Outcome measures are superior, neck pain scores are superior, range of motion is clearly better, and next level surgeries are a third less when you have artificial discs placed in your neck. So I believe that's the next gold standard, is cervical artificial disc replacement, and that's going to continue. But what's getting even better is new versions of these discs are improving. So we're getting better motion and implants designed for multi-level. For example, the new Sentinel Spine, the ProDisc series, the original ProDisc, which I have in my neck, the old ProDisc was designed for one level. The new ones, and there's three versions of the new one, it uses the same ball core design, which is very stable, offloads facet joints, protects your neck from abnormal motion. The new versions are called Vivo, and it's a contoured shape, and it's been released recently. There's also one called SK, which stands for short keel, and those are designed for stacking. And there's Nuvo, which is also designed for stacking. It's got one keel up and two short keels down. That's not released yet, but it's coming soon. So these three new versions of ProDisc are very exciting, and they're giving us more options. And a lot of those option choices I make with artificial discs are dependent on your anatomy. Some patients I want maybe a different type of disc in the upper cervical, in the lower I might choose a different disc. Sometimes I'll do combinations. Again, based on your anatomy and range of motion. So this whole field of motion preservation surgery is expanding and it's getting better and we're getting better devices for it.